The August 20th, 2014 meeting of the Environmental Public Works Committee will now come to order. Will the clerk please call the roll? Mr. Delahaney? Here. Mr. Haney? <coughs> Chairman Michike? Here. Mr. Rocco? Here. Mrs. Stick? Here. Mr. Wilcox? Here. Mr. Yolovich? Here. Is there anyone signed up for public forum? There is not. Is there anyone present who is not signed up to speak who would like to address the committee at this time? <coughs> Seeing none. The next item on the agenda is the approval of minutes. We have the July 30th, 2014 minutes of the Environmental and Public Works Committee before you. They will stand approved unless the clerk is notified of any changes by the end of the day. Next item on the agenda is new business. Referral 14-257. Moved by Legislator Delahaney, second by Legislator Yolovich. Is there any discussion? Legislator Haney. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Could someone explain what this is all about? Through the chair, uh, Justin Roy with Environmental Services. Um, this project uh, <coughs> at its core is to um, integrate our asset management system, uh, which is currently on the Hanson platform, which is an in-core product, uh, into SAP, which is our, our financial system. Um, right now, in addition to Hanson as our asset management system and our, in essence, our, our work order system, and you write work orders against assets, we also have a uh, material request system that's tied to uh, requisitions of products and services uh, that would also um, be integrated with an SAP where it has that ability um, and would allow us to, in essence, uh, modernize and better track our costs um, as it relates to maintaining the uh, 42,000 assets we have between um, our pure waters facilities that we maintain as well as our other county facilities that we maintain. Through the chair, when you say asset management, what kind of assets are you talking about? Through the chair, um, assets could be um, the air handlers <coughs> that service this room. It could be the room itself um, in the pure water side. You typically would think of pump stations, segments of uh, gravity sewer, force main, um, the various other uh, equipments and accoutrements within the, within the wastewater treatment plant. Um, those would all be considered assets for, uh, for maintenance purposes. So it's all fixed assets? Uh, through the chair, uh, not necessarily a, a financial fixed asset. You, uh, we would consider an asset potentially a parcel of a, of a rate payer in the Pure Waters District where we would track where we've done <laughs> lot line cleanouts, uh, potentially provided other services at calls for service. Uh, individual catch, bang, uh, catch basin could be a um, asset to us for the purposes of tracking maintenance to worry about um, backups and flooding and what have you, but that may not strictly be a financial asset. However, one of the benefits of the system would be on, uh, on financial assets if, let's say, a larger pump, if we were to take that pump out of service and rebuild it and extend its functional life, uh, we could then um, you know, amortize the cost of that rebuild onto the pump uh, increase its functional life and obviously increase the the overall assets, if you financial assets, if you will, of, of the of the district. Through the chair. Th so this is a piece of computer software. Through the chair, it is a um, it is a module uh, within the SAP platform. It is actually the enterprise asset management module. Um, it will also this project will also involve uh, work with uh, the the various HR and finance modules that will in purchasing inventory modules that will need to be modified in order to support enterprise asset management. Um, it really stretches across the, the entirety of the SAP application. But it's all computer software. It also, uh, through the chair, it also entails um, hardware associated uh, with the change. Um, so that would be some servers. Uh, we're also looking at uh, potentially a variety of mobile devices uh, to empower our, our, our employees in the field um, to create work orders, you know, reference parts inventories, potentially, you know, make requisitions of parts, create additional work orders. Uh, a typical, you know, use of, of that hardware would be you get out to a site for an investigation, you determine that there's a need for uh, an asset to be televised, meaning you would literally you put the little robot, it's kind of neat, I'd be glad to show you guys sometime. Uh, put that into the sewer and actually drive it and then determine, let's say, that there's a need to line that sewer due to uh, damage within it. You could create another work order for lining. Um, a lot of these things are done today either via walkie-talkie or paper 
um, they would be automated as part of this project. It's, it's, it's quite far reaching. I'm usually very supportive of things that improve our accounting system, but six million dollars is a hell of a price. Had we done, through the chair, have, have, have we done a return on investment analysis or anything like that? <coughs> through the chair, um, we've looked at various elements for operations and the savings associated with that. I can provide a couple of examples, um, but I, I would state as a preface to that, uh, what this system allows us to do is truly capture the data it caught um, in terms of what it costs us to maintain our assets, understand what's driving our costs, and then from there will allow us to actually develop management plans to address those costs, whether it's um, through identifying assets where we've spent uh, significant O&M dollars where our capital replacement will actually be more cost effective in the long run being one example, or uh, simply looking at maybe expenses by vendor to determine um, if, if expenses with that vendor have kind of reached out of an unacceptable, uh, unacceptable range, and maybe that's work that we should be doing in-house or with another vendor uh, as some examples. But I'll, I'll give you some um, low-hanging fruit examples that of uh, cost savings that we can address with the system. Uh, one is- But uh, in the aggregate, we haven't, we don't have an estimate of what these savings will, will, will be. I mean, I'm sure you can point out individual items, but in the, in the a aggregate, we don't have an estimate of what the savings will be? In the aggregate, do we have an estimate of what the savings would be through the chair? Um, I think I, we can give examples, again, of where we've, where we've generated potential savings, and from there you can extrapolate that. Some of the things that'll happen here simply address the Department of Environmental Services and extend them across the county. Um, I think the payback on this uh, is certainly within the realm of the term of financing, and uh, SAP is a platform that we're going to be on for, uh, I would argue, uh, um, for an additional decade, if not longer. It'll, it'll kind of, you know, um, you know, far outlive, um, I think, any kind of expected um, payback. Um, but to give some examples, just in terms of uh, looking at time cards. You know, we currently still have paper time cards throughout the county for all of our employees, and, and within DES, we have 334 full-time employees. From, you know, uh, from management discussions, by the time you produce, fill out, and, and uh, get a time card to your supervisor, you know, we make an assumption that the employee spends about 15 minutes uh, per pay period filling out a time card. Um, you look at 26 pay periods per year, uh, it, it costs us about $2,400 an hour in personnel uh, costs just for a quarter hour. So 24 for a 15 minute time period, it's about $2,400 for all of those 334 employees. Um, so when you look at that 15 minute saved across those employees over 26 times a year, I mean just with time cards before you get into data entry, literally having the uh, inner office mail these through all our various departments, we're talking about $75,000 in savings, just automating that for DES, not to mention the eventually the 40, I think the 4,600 employees that will eventually move to a digital time card. Um, so the savings are significant there. Uh, give you another example of the efficiencies, and I apologize for the lengthy answer. When we look at um, our employees in terms of work orders, when you complete a work order, most likely you're going to have to have parts picked from inventory to complete that work order. Uh, we complete about 160 work orders a day um, within DES alone, um, and let's just, for, again, for again, the estimation is that it's about 15 minutes for these crews to kind of queue up, pick a, um, you know, hand in their pick list, if you will, from their work order to the inventory clerk, wait for the inventory clerks to pick their, pick their inventory that they'll need to complete the job and hand it back to them. One of the things we'll be able to do with the SAP system is automate that by task list, have a B shift where these things will be picked so that crews in the morning can simply pick up their pre-picked uh, inventory and begin their day. Um, you know, saving the, that 15 um, minutes per crew, and there's about 150 crews out there, our average job crew is about one and a half employees. A lot of employees work autonomously um, through the district due to the, really, the, quite frankly, the leanness of the districts already. Um, when you look at that times the personnel cost, again, for that quarter hour, um, and then you look at the fact that they're doing that 260 work days per year. 
which is a low number because obviously within Pure Waters we operate 24-7, 365 to maintain the system. You know, the average savings due to reduced inventory, if you will, delays, uh, downtime is over $350,000 a year. So when you look at those just two examples, you're, lo you're well over $400,000 in savings in one year just within our department. So when you extrapolate the $6 million cost across the entire county for some of these items, DOT, parks, airport will also be eventually users of this product as it relates to asset management. Uh, the payback is probably within the realm uh, of six to eight years, and I think that's conservative and, and a fair estimate. It could be escalated based on, again, once we start gathering this data and have a better handle on what's driving costs, we're going to be able to generate additional cost-saving measures. Again, my apologies for the length of the answer. Through the chair, we just adopted a new CIP about six weeks ago. If, if, if this thing moves us to a brave new world, why wasn't it part of the CIP discussion? Through the chair, we were engaged in scope and fee negotiations with Quintel uh, up to roughly two weeks ago um, so that we did not complete the scope and fee discussions in time to have that incorporated into the CIP. And, well, um, well, there's lots of things in the CIP that aren't definitively defined. I mean, they're only conceptual projects. But, uh. Uh, through the chair, this is actually um, amending the 24 C 2014 CIP, the capital budget, because we're going to begin work hopefully within weeks of, of this body's approval. Um, and certainly we, when we are scoping this project, and, and because of the nature of software uh, projects and the negotiations, well, we didn't have a defined cost when the 2014 CIP became before your body for approval, and, and certainly um, that's, and we weren't looking to delay the project into 2015. The hope, again, is to begin work on this project within the next, um, hopefully, 60 days. Through, through the chair, what, what will be the, the bonding life of this pro project, the, the useful life? Is it a five-year project? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I don't have that in front of me, but I'm uh, reasonably confident, and I will be totally confident before this comes to a vote, that the uh, bonding period is 10 years. So our debt service will go up by something over $600,000 a year to carry this project. Is Mr. Chairman, that'll be a reasonable estimate if this is uh, a 10-year bonding period. Mr. Chairman, <coughs> this is a tremendous investment, capital investment in a piece of computer software at a time when we have just adopted a capital budget that postponed several highway in the last two capital uh, in the last two adopted CIPs we have postponed several highway projects we have postponed several parks projects uh, etc uh, in order to control the amount of debt service future budgets we're going to have to carry now to have this out of the blue sort of sprung upon us I think we, the three committees, really need to sit down uh, with staff and have a thorough understanding of, of how we are going to um, have a positive uh, ROI on, on, on this o over the next 10 years. Uh, therefore, I mean, I, in the end, might well be supportive of, of, of this. But given the fact that we're spending six million bucks on a piece of computer software when we're postponing parks projects and highway projects in the CIP, I think it needs, the issue requires more examination 
by the three committees than we can do here. Therefore, Mr. Chairman, I would move that we table this with the intent of convening a work session of the committees uh, with the appropriate staff to examine this, this project. Discussion? Okay. 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 That's what I was going to do. Let's do roll call. Roll call vote on the motion to table. Mr. Delahanty. This is on the motion to table. Mr. Delahaney? No. Mr. Haney? No. Chairman Michike? No. Mr. Rocco? No. Mrs. Stick? No. Mr. Wilcox? No. Mr. Yolovich? No. Two to five motion to table fails. In an era in which we're postponing highway and parks projects in the CRP without really being able to have a thorough understanding of, of the benefits of spending $6 million on computer software, uh, I'll have to vote against the project. Call vote on the main motion. Mr. Delahaney? Yes. Mr. Haney? Yes. Chairman Michike? Yes. Mr. Rocco? Yes. Mrs. Stick? Yes. Mr. Wilcox? Yes. Mr. Yolovich? 5 2 motion passes. Item carries. Next item. Referral 14 265 authorized. Moved by, Move by Legislator Yolovich, second by Legislator Stick. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. aye. Any opposed? Item carries. Are there any other matters to come before this committee? Seeing none, there being no other matters, the August 2014th meeting and the August 20th, 2014 meeting of the Environmental Public Works Committee stands adjourned. Next meeting will be September 17th, 2014 at 5 p.m.